Hello Flip Noise users. Today we're going to be looking at macros and adding effects and grouping the whole instrument together. This is part two of using operator. Uh, last time we looked at oscillators and um, filters and pitch envelopes. Uh, and I'm going to recreate the, recreate the sound that we made last time fairly quickly to get onto the macro stage. So first thing we want to do, grab operator and we put it in to the instrument MIDI track. This is the um, MIDI track that I recorded last time. And first thing is I'm going to switch off the other operators, uh, the other oscillators, and I'm going to go on to the shape of these oscillators and put them onto a subtractive version rather than FM synth. And we should then get the level at a reasonable, the oscillator A at a reasonable level. Remember, this was a sine wave. And I'll just mute the kick for now, just so we can hear the kick, uh, hear the operator. And this bass line, I'm going to add a saw D, and and I'll do the shapes in a minute. At the moment, you can see the envelopes are the default setting. And you switch that on. And these are the harmonic oscillator frequencies coming in. And I think we had something like that. Okay, and then we'll get the shapes. Okay, each envelope we're going to shape. I think we put some glide on last time and also I think we put a pitch envelope on and we reset this I think so we put all these to naught to start with and then we did something like that just to get that bite at the beginning Sorry, grabbed the wrong one there. Okay, then we'll put some filter on. We're going to put a low pass. Okay, and finally, we didn't do this last time, but uh, let's put... a little bit of detune on there just to give it like an analog feel um, let's just put a little bit of spread on there as well and finally I think we had some glide on as well and I think with the glide because the notes aren't overlapping if they were overlapping you could get the glide that way, just here. But what we want to do is probably put the release up on one of the oscillators and that should get the same effect. Okay, that'll get the effect that we're looking for, that glide between the pitches. Okay, right, so what we want to do is um, set up this as, a, as an instrument, really. So let's just go through some effects, put some effects on. Uh, we're going go to go to audio effects, and we're going to go for a, a couple of effects that I'd go for normally. Um, probably put a filter on instead of an EQ8 on this. Uh, well, no, let's put an EQ8 and a filter. And then we'll put um, a reverb and, of course, a simple delay. There's quite a few effects there I've just put on. First thing I want to do 
is actually switch a few off and I'm going to use a dry wet. Remember, dry is no effects. Wet is just effects. So I'm just going to go along and um, EQ's OK, compressor's OK like that. So first thing I'm going to do is set the compressor, the threshold. OK, I'm just going to reduce the threshold until I see the amount of compression coming on. Now that's kind of increased the lower amplitude sounds that you can hear, so it's uh, a much fuller sound. And I'm just going to get rid of anything below 30 hertz, and likewise anything above 16 is gone now as well. Um, and then I'm just going to go onto the auto filter. Yeah, okay, that'll be nice. So we can use that to we can use that to sweep. And then finally, the two delays and ping pongs. Okay, and we're going to set this up to something like. I'll put that on time. Something like Okay, so I'm just using that just to delay the left and right channels slightly different, just to give it a wider sound. Uh, and then I'm going to add the reverb. I don't want a lot of reverb on there. Now, obviously, you tweak all your settings to get the uh, required sound you want. Uh, I want to keep this video around 10 minutes long, so I want to keep it quite short. Now, I'm going to go really short on that. There's only 4% on that. And I quite like that. Um, one more thing I do want is a ping pong delay. Um, so I'm going to add one of those and I'm going to keep the dry wet right down like I did the reverb. Okay, I don't like the clicking, the start of it at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the filter. Likewise, I don't want to put the reverb on the bass frequencies, so I'm actually going to switch the low cut off and cut off from about 200 onwards, just to avoid any reverb and ping pong delays on the low end. Doesn't really like that. Okay, so we've got some effects there. Uh, next thing I want to do is actually Command A selects everything. I could, if I wanted to, hold down Command, select one, and then by holding down Shift, I could select them all. Um, it's just as easy to go Command A. So Command A selects all of them. And then right click the instrument, and then we're going to group that, okay? So let's just have a look at that again. We've grabbed all the instruments there, and we're going to group those together. Okay, so we've got now some macros because of that group, and we can start putting some stuff in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I really like this filter. So I'm going to right-click and map that to macro 1. Uh, I'm also going to do the frequency to macro 2. Okay, now notice it will go to the default position, which is just there. Now, I want that. I don't want to go as low as that, so I'm going to, let's put this around in the middle, and then let's just hear what this does. Okay, so I like it all the way up, that sounds good. I 
don't want to go down as low as 26 hertz really so what you can do on the frequency 26 hertz probably come down to about 50 something like that let's just see the difference there so you can you can still hear the sub but it's not going to so low that you can't hear it Okay, uh, next thing I want to do, I quite like um, putting maybe one of the envelopes on. So maybe we could put the pitch envelope and the decay, we can map that to three. Okay, and we'll be able to see what this does now, look. So this will be the actual click on the beginning of the track. Okay, and likewise, we've got, um, we could put the reverb on there, we can put dry wet on there, uh, simple delay I quite like actually as it is, um, and that should do us, we've, you can rename these, because obviously that's the ping pong, so you can literally rename that. Okay, and all these, all these can be automated. Um, it actually, as you move them, it moves them up here. So you could just click in some tracks like that, and have it coming up at the end. Okay, so a bit wild, um, that's too high, but you get the general idea, you can tweak this as much as you want, and all these can all be filtered, so I could do a filter sweep down, just like that. So now all these are moving, let's do some resonance as well. So all these now are being muted, uh, sorry, are being automated, not muted. And uh, we can put a little bit of reverb on there. And so just to recap, we grouped it by going on to group, okay? Uh, and then we opened up the macro settings, which is just there, okay? And with the macro settings, we can set any macro we want, uh, any parameter we want to any macro we want there. Uh, and also, if you wanted to drop another operator in, you could just, well, it doesn't have to be an operator, we could drop an analog one in just here and fatten the, the actual sound right up. So. Um, and you can put quite a few different synths in there. Um, sometimes less is more though. Uh, I hope this has helped and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.